every human being. Every human being is responsible for helping the world grow. By continuing to support or creating new things that hold us back, we cause suffering of the worst kind. A suffering that has no meaning. Think about the things that hold you back and begin thinking your way around them. The only force that can help you are the other human beings who share in this endeavor. Humanity is your family. All those who strive for knowledge and wisdom and share in the dreams of a loving world. Those who profit from indoctrination, bondage, blindness, status quo, or meaningless suffering have failed to grow up and entered a strange, empty-minded, parasitic or predatory existence. The propagators of misery who have warped every nation of earth are neither leaders, friends, nor family. For humanity to advance forward, we must build quickly erecting lightweight systems that are vulnerable to attacks. We cannot hope to advance by building armored bridges, because a liar will dig until they will win their mindless game. For humanity to grow in safety, we must each accept the responsibility for our own education. We have to prevent each other from entering strange, empty states and help each other grow towards wisdom and greatness. It is either all of us, the entire family, becoming wise, or none, as mindless parasites gnaw and erode and destroy the foundations we require. You must accept the responsibility that you once associated with great beings. A great being is just a grown-up. It is the aim and hope of each and every one of us. You cannot stand by as the world is held back by lack of vision or greed or exploitation. This is your world. There is no room for revenge and punishment, prisons and cages, and legal slavery in our world. The fracturing of minds must be prevented by a wise, loving, and understanding humanity. Homelessness, poverty, and desperation must be prevented right now. Grant every newborn a free home, a free, real and effective education, and a birthday gift of enough money to last a lifetime. Who are we to punish children into desperation, fake education, and poverty, and then pretend we know what we are talking about when we say a fair start is a bad idea? Books, narrated books especially, will help you grow to see all the wrong that we are tricked into tolerating and participating in. Push past those who will laugh at you for listening to books. They are just ill and scared and weak and secretly hate the world and the self-educated. Do not just make decisions based on experience, observations, and majority. Inherit hundreds or thousands of lifetimes from narrated books. Before making decisions that dictate the life ahead of you, build an independent and impeccable understanding of the world so that you are not misled. In the privacy of your beautiful life, learn about other struggles and noble aims, 
and histories. We are one family. Look beyond your nation to the entire world, to every city and every village, and find a way to encourage the vulnerable to a real and life-changing education. Stand up for human rights all across the world. Reject prisons. Reject poverty. No child should ever need to face poverty. Stand up for Earth, because the same thing that puts children into poverty puts the future of Earth into jeopardy. Money must only be used for good and never for evil or wrongdoing. Disarmament. Complete disarmament is possible so as long as we build real schools and help children learn for real and meaningful and life-changing paths and ideas. Wars are rooted in lack of education and warped visions of the world. We are one family, one people. We all have many different reasons to admire each other. But we all need a common education, one that helps us grow in reality and grow wise and opens gateways to greatness. In a world where we unite in knowledge and hope, peace and wisdom, foresight and greatness, our civilization will be free to flourish and grow. No longer will we be held back by stupid and small-minded ideas. Together, we must build a wise and loving world, a wise and loving future.